What up, it's me, A to Z, and we're back with more of A Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Last time, we were introduced to our birthday boy, Link, here. And what was his first birthday present? A green tunic. He thought it was ugly. Eh, there's worse. There's worse clothes out there. There really are. We got a telescope from Errol, which was an even better birthday present. Our little sister. You're a good sister. I appreciate you, kiddo. And then, using our telescope, we realized that, uh... A lone girl fell into these woods after being carried by some scary ass looking bird. So she fell in here. We gotta go rescue her. So, us being the gallant birthday boy hero that we are, we are going to start off our heroic day by taking a leap of fat. I, I said, I said we're gonna, no. By taking a leap of, we can't take a leap of faith? Are you serious game? Here, leap of faith! There we go. <laughs> Been a while since we did a leap of faith. I'm like thinking, wait, we can't just jump off and be all heroic? It's our birthday, damn it. This is the day we're supposed to be heroic. How the hell are we supposed to be here if we're not even brave enough to take a leap of faith? Whatever. Our birthday will get better once we save the girl. Because she will be so enamored and she will be so, uh, thankful. You know. Eh? Birthday present? Know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a terrible human being. Let's go in the door. <laughs> anyway, we need to go talk to Orca. I should have just mentioned that first. Because we do need something to defend ourselves with. So if we talk to Orca... Oh, what's the matter, Link? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is from the look of your face, I suspect it's no laughing matter. What say you? Ah, have you come for some serious instruction in the way of the sword? Yes, sir. You know it. I told you I'd be back, Sensei. So, I believe this is just a repeat of the first, uh, yeah, this is just a repeat of this. But for good reason. I don't know if this is the first time that they intend you to do this, but... I, I don't know. I, I, I think this is... I, I think I have done this before, just like this. I, I did a... Oh, target, right. What am I doing? Jeez, I'm an idiot. I just did this last episode and I can't even... No, don't jump attack. There we go. I mean, how, how did I not even figure this out? But at least we have this tutorial that teaches you how to do all these... Uh, what's it? These actions, so that way I don't have to show you like I did in Ocarina of Time. Because there's a lot of actions with your sword. There's a lot, as you'll see. Moving onward, we now have the spin attack. So it's pretty much the same thing. You spin the control stick around, and then you spin. Now for the parry attack. This is the new one that was introduced. So you want to target, wait until he attacks, wait until he attacks, and then dodge with A. And then you'll do a little bit of a counter attack. So this is one of the most useful attacks that they've introduced. And it does make the combat quite easier. Now finally for the jump attack, which is pretty much just what you think. It's the same thing. You have your sword out, you uh, jump forward and attack, like that. So it's a good old-fashioned jump attack. Yeah. That was a fine display. And yet, I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold. An eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Link. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. Just when you think the birthday presents couldn't get any better, we now have the hero sword! So we finally have a, we finally got a weapon. You don't want to let down the kind old man who entrusted it to you. Since the olden days, this sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with a desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Link. Yes, Sensei. I will make you proud. But we finally have a weapon. Now, don't worry. All we can get is a sword. Don't worry about getting a shield. We can't get any type of shield for this first portion. And you really won't need it. Like, this is the most basic of combat that we're going to be doing now for this very first portion of the game. A sword will suffice greatly. And even if you try and go back to your house and get that shield, uh, Grandma's not going to let you. And if she sees you with that sword, she's obviously not going to be happy. <laughs> it's like, Link, what irresponsible adult gave you a weapon? <laughs> Speaking of weapons, we can now use it to uh, do Link's favorite hobby, uh, mowing the lawn. And how fitting, we're mowing the lawn, we're getting paid for it. Because <laughs> we just got uh, some green rubies out of it. See if we can get any more. Uh, no, we're only getting- oh, oh, there we go, there we go. We're getting some money. We're getting paid for mowing the lawn. <laughs> Link the hero, more like Link the lawnmower. There we go, I just saw one over there. Let's see if we can get any more. Probably not. Eight rubies out of this is- no, no, nine. Nine. Nine, nine, nine. Uh, oh, ten. Sweet. Alright. So now with that done, we are finally going to head up this path over here. Now, if you tried to head up over here, and if you tried to be a little bit of an explorer, uh, the game would say, no, sorry, trees. But we have a sword, so we can just cut them down. And we have all this grass that you don't really need to cut down. There's not going to be any rupees here. 
Now I shall notice the music's gonna get a little bit quieter. Cause it's showing, you know, it's getting a little bit serious now. You got our, you got your sword, you got your weapon. And it's time for everybody's favorite trope. Crossing the rickety old bridge that looks like it could fall apart at any moment. <laughs> you gotta love that. Every time you see it, you're like thinking, ah, I don't want to cross this bridge. I would not be brave enough to cross a bridge like this in real life. I wouldn't. Are you kidding me? Especially with the, look at this drop. Especially with this drop. Look at that. Look at that. I'm glad they restricted the cartoons <laughs> and video games. Anyway, head in this cavern. There's our damsel. Let's go save her. So what we want to do is just head around and... Uh-oh. What do we have here? Our very first enemy! We got Bacoblins! Bacoblins. I think they're, they're Bacoblins. Whatever. So they take a few slashes from the sword. I keep saying sword. From the sword. And they might drop a rupee or they'll eventually start dropping items. But it's, uh, they're very, very simple. They might take a, uh, a bit of a while to kill at this early portion of the game, but that's because your sword's not super strong. But yep, I think this is the first game that introduced, uh, Bokoblins, because before it was just, like, Moblins and Octoroks and all that. Oh! Now we got, uh, Helmarox dropping off some more Bokoblins. But yeah, this was the first game where Bokoblins became the standard enemy, because from that point, from this point onwards, we see them in every game as your typical Lemming enemy. Like, you will see them, in, like, every freaking time now. Oh, did we kill you? Oh, we didn't kill you. I thought we killed you. Whatever. You're dead. And so are you. <laughs> well, we technically saved her. Ouch! Wow, what's with the getup? <laughs> well, whatever. So, where am I? Oh, that's right, that giant bird came in, uh... Oh! Miss! Miss Tetra! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on the summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on top of a mountain? Well, that wasn't nice of it. Well, don't just stand there, let's go! Time to repay our debt to that bird in full! But, miss, what about the kid? Don't worry about him, come on! Hey! Hey, big brother! Hey, sis. Don't worry, she's all good. Kid, get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> what? You want to come with us on our ship? Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know, pirates, terror of the seas. Or heart filled ED. <laughs> what do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? And how do you figure that? Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Just who are you? Where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst their many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. 
Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter. Whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from the island also has long ears. Does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate? My point is that the poor the bird the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why I grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Link here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you about the bird that kidnapped both you and Link's sister has made its foul nest to the north on the heights of the, of the Forsaken Fortress. The, the Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So, what are you gonna do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Link a little help now, would it? <sighs> I don't need you to tell me that. Even if we were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this Forsaken Fortress. You can't possibly mean to go up there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this has to have something you'd use as a shield. You know, something you something to protect yourself with? Anything? Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back for a while, so you better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. I think we can manage that, but... Things have gotten real. The bird took our sister. Hang on. How did the bird confuse our sister for this girl here, Tetra? They look completely different. Only thing is the ears and the blonde hair. <laughs> Tetra's got a little tan going. And she's taller. And that tuft on her head, like, come on. I don't know. Maybe birds aren't as smart as I think they are. Then again, with my history, I've proven that birds are kind of stupid. Anyway, let's go back home. And pick up that shield. Because the only the only thing I can think of... The only shield I can think of is... Gone. Grandma? Link. Is this what you're looking for? Take it with you. And we got a shield with the most, with the most bittersweet expression on our face. You can tell Link's holding back tears. This is the legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Hold ZR to defend while you, while holding the sword. You can move around if you defend while targeting. <laughs> holding the bow is just. <laughs> I guess it's true. Errol really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster would take such a sweet young child? Oh, Errol. It'll be okay, Grandma. I'll bring her back. I swear it. It's always sad when you have to leave home, especially when one of your siblings is missing. <laughs> Alright, let's leave. Let's leave before things get any more sad. Quickly! Don't look back, Link! Don't look back. Just keep running. Run! Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you sure you're gonna get split? Are you gonna get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go.
uh, how much longer do you think this is gonna go on? You got an estimate? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just gonna get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take it back to your island? Well, what kind of hero would that make me? Link? Listen, you can't just stand around on deck. You'll get everyone's you'll get in everyone's way. I told Nico to look after you, so you better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. Alright. We are sailing. We are finally a pirate. We have done it. <laughs> Alright, so now what we gotta do is listen to Tetra and head below decks by going through this door over here. And we wanna see <laughs> who is actually a pretty memorable character. If we walk in here. Ladies and gentlemen, say hi to Nico. Oh, well now, ahoy there, Swabi. As of today, ahem, I am your superior, Nico. Now, I promise I'll go easy on you, so you'll do as I say, okay? <laughs> right, now first off, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. <laughs> you watch everything I'm about to show you real careful, like, so you can cram into your no-doubt mushy Swabi brain. Really? N Nico, why do we have to do swabby training and work? Why don't we just go bowling? <laughs> First, <laughs> press the switch. This is the easy part. Jump up like this, cousin. <laughs> you knew, you knew jokes like that were gonna be coming. After the platforms arise, you have to jump. I can't keep this voice going. Look at Nico, look at him all athletic. But the next one's too far, right? So you gotta do... This! Ha! And now we can swing on ropes! Couldn't do this in Ocarina time. So, you think you got it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get there by the time they drop, you gotta start over. I should be consistent with Nico's voice, okay? I'm gonna go back to it. It'll probably take you at least one year before they're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year, cousin. One tough year full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now this ought to be for good for a chuckle or two. Alright, so. He says there's a timer. From what I've noticed, there isn't really a timer for this. You kind of just have as long as you want, to be perfectly honest. But yeah, you wanna hop from platform to platform by swinging on these ropes. Now what they don't tell you is you can stop swinging and you can just, uh, you know, you can either climb up or down. You don't really need to do this now, but, you know, like, as time goes on, it'll be important to remember that, that you can stop swinging and you can adjust your height so you can adjust the arc of your jump. Anyway, that was the quickest year of my life. What? You did it already, cousin? I don't know why I'm having Nico say cousin. It's Roman who's the one. <laughs> cousin, let's go bowling. <laughs> <laughs> Not now, Roman. I have to stop the... <laughs> I got to stop the Mafia boss. I wonder if it's okay just to give that to him. Well, I don't see why not. I don't think I'll get busted. Alright, Swabby. You can have treasure in chest. It's a reward from great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. I'm going to go bowling with my cousin now. <laughs> so, it's been a while since we've done this, guys. It's been a long while. Prepare yourselves. Opening it, 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 opening it. And we got the spoils bag, so we can keep items we get from enemies in this handy pouch. Also, I realized I was completely off time when I was doing the opening thing. So, we can hold different kinds of items, and we'll worry about that later. Hey Link, we've reached the Forsaken Fortress! Hurry and get up here! Alright. So, we are pretty much done here. We don't have to- well, let's, let's just do it this way. Just, just for interesting sake. We'll do this, and then we'll roll off here, and then we'll just climb up this ladder here. Now you'll notice, like, the things didn't fall off. You would have heard a timer. I, I feel like that there is no timer, and I think just hitting that switch is what lowers the platforms, and if you just want to re-raise them, you hit this switch. Anyway, I think we have done enough in this episode. So, uh, on the note of getting the spoils bag and reaching the Forsaken Fortress, I think we're gonna cut it here. Next time, we're gonna head up 
talk to Tetra, and do something about this Forsaken Fortress. So we're gonna cut it here. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back with more of a Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker.